All right, you get the idea. Follow a brother on Twitter. When you can verify the login request through the app, which you need the app, if you don't, well, it makes it a little bit harder. I recommend doing that. Also, when doing a password reset, check it where it says require personal information to reset my password. So there you guys kind of got the idea. That's kind of what you, all you really have to do for Twitter. Just verify login request. And here we go. Always require a password to log into my account. You will be asked for a password every time you log in. This means that you will not be able to log in simply by receiving a login code via SMS or email. Allow my account to log in either with a password or login code. What that'll do is someone could just log in with a login code. That could probably be brute force, and that's only six characters for a login code, which obviously is still hard to do, but it can be brute forceable. And within the 10 second period, a randomized act, you know, it, it could happen. So I require a password because the password is obviously going to be secure than a login code. That's all you really have to do for Twitter. Secure email, secure Twitter. All you got to do is make it to where, you know, you link it with your phone. Your phone, this is a lifesaver, man. This phone will secure you, but you're only as secure as secure you can be. Your Android, if you don't have this secured, someone could simply, you know, a friend could simply go in and, ooh, look, I have access to Twitter. You know, it, it makes it hard for people even if they did have access to your Android. And that can go into when you have accounts on your phone, say you need someone, someone wants to use your phone or whatever, I recommend using apps like AppLock. What AppLock will do is it'll actually, you'll have to put in a pin every time you use a certain application when your phone goes off like that and that will help you secure your your information even more even though this is kind of like an ir in real life scenario so it's better to be safe than sorry and that goes for everything your email needs to be secure and all the accounts you use and i i'm going to say it again LastPass. go look into that it's not just you don't have to just use LastPass. there's you know other password application this is a plugin i use the plugin myself on chrome and i use chrome because Chrome patches zero days and common vulnerabilities and exposures, in other words, or CVEs as they call it. What this will do is it'll prevent you from getting zero days and uh, stuff like stage fright, arbitrary code exploitation and stuff like that and any vulnerability. Chrome is on that and they actually pay people out for doing that. So I recommend using Chrome because it's made for hackers and developers and people that just want to use it. So that's all around the best browser, even on your Android, on your iOS, use it, utilize it. It patches, it stays up to date, zero days, and make sure you have auto update on, on your iOS or Android app. I recommend Wi-Fi if you don't want to get the data, you know, anyway. That's kind of the idea. That's really it. When you secure accounts, look at the security options. Make sure you read up on the security options. Research the security options. Just read what it does. That's all you got to do and see. That's it. So take it from me. I have not had any accounts checked except for my base action account on PSN, which won't happen again because, you know, that boy lock that shit down but the first time actually it happened twice the first time i don't know i don't really quite remember how it happened but i had i think it was um no it was definitely jacked i don't remember what happened but i got it changed well it happened again a couple weeks later and i don't know how the hell it happened but it happened again and ever since then it hasn't been jacked but they've also updated their security on the website because a lot of people use the website and that's oh, if you don't know a website is actually a very because a lot of people call the phone people are trained to know how to handle stuff differently over the phone than they do on the internet or on the web. So it's different social engineering tactics. And social engineering, there's no one way to do social engineering. And for that matter, there's no one way to get past security. No one way to patch their security. There is always a vulnerability lying somewhere. So you can only be secure as you can be. So secure what you can. And what I just showed you is basic, straightforward stuff that you got to do. Never save your passwords in your browser. Even Chrome, never save them. If they ask you to save them, don't. Only use LastPass because LastPass encrypts your whole database of passwords with one key which you only know, which you should write down on a piece of paper so you never forget. And try to remember it and have it, you know, encoded in your brain. And when you do that and make sure it's 30 some characters, alphanumeral special characters and stuff like that, and then you're good.